everyone and welcome back to the Artifix 23 channel. It is so nice to see you all back. Um, we have a few new subscribers and I want to thank you also for tuning in and for subscribing. And if you're new here, my name is Pietro and this channel, channel is all about bringing you a variety of art related content and to encourage you to follow your art. And if that is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and remember to ring the bell so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload something new. So it is a new year and before I go on, I just want to um, say to all of you, I hope that you have a blessed 2021. Um, I know 2020 was difficult for all of us. We're still in the midst of this pandemic, but um, I wish you a lot of um, blessings, a lot of positivity, a lot of creativeness for the year to come and um, yes let's try and create as much positivity as we can um, for this year ahead anyway um last year on the first of january i did a spring clean of the studio and um, i posted some photos over on my instagram account this year i did the same and i decided to um, give you a little bit um, of a tour of the studio, almost a vlog type video. I, I've done a, a studio tour before. Um, I will link that video in the description box below. And, um, you can see what, what it looked like then and what it looks like now. I've painted the walls white and there are some upgrades. You can see this um, these shelves behind me, these cupboards are new and um, yeah, I'll show you some some random stuff on the video as well. Oh, and apparently I say random a lot in the video, so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> in the video, I also mentioned that I would like to see your art space. Please share it with me or tag me in face um, on Facebook over um, on Artifix 23's Facebook page. I would love to see where, where your happy space is and where you do all of your creative things. Um, I have some plans for new videos in the new year. Um, I have some tutorials I would like to share with you, some random art stuff. There's that word random again. <laughs> I've done a few commissions in the at the end of 2020. Those videos are coming up also. If you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next video and as always remember to follow your art showing you um, the studio today um, I'll start over there with the view from the window where we have some bird feeders the water there's another one over there oh these windows needs cleaning <laughs> but um, I hope you can see over there oh we've got a little birdie having a snack over there Yeah, that's another one over there. They're enjoying the, the tree and the food and the water and I enjoy watching them through the studio window. Okay, <clears throat> moving on. That's, um, that's a very old grandfather clock. Um, one my, my own granddad on my father's side rescued of of a rubbish dump um, just after World War II and he restored it so it's just sitting over here in my studio it's still running it's going <laughs> so yeah okay um, over there oh the ring light sorry let me just switch it off there we go um, just some random art of my own some two Fridas and a Marilyn and some Spanish dancers my fairy lights <laughs> and glitter ball if you hear a noise going on it's the fan <laughs> it's um, very hot here in South Africa at the moment we had two days of about um, 38, 39 degrees Celsius um, yeah it's quite hot so I, I apologize for the fan running over there. Um, right, that's Al Corner. Maybe you've seen it before on my Instagram feed. Just some random Al 
things I've collected over the years and my barn elf painting that's a pastel pencil um, drawing I made and decided never to sell it so it's sitting over here in the studio very cozy and um, some random art that's one I made for my dad um, after his passing I, I got it back so it's sitting over here in the studio that's a charcoal elephant one I did and a tiny baby dove that I hand read and I think it's probably over here in the garden some ways still okay moving on um, I did uh, I did a video of this um, this one I will link it in the description box below just sitting over here with all my brushes and what's nice is it's got two tiers so there you go it can rotate and very handy okay very um, modern technical equipment over here for filming <laughs> when I draw it's just a selfie stick on a um, tripod yeah so it's nice and handy I can just pull it out over here and put my phone on it to record whatever I'm drawing the that's the all the computer stuff for editing videos and all other admin work over there very boring oh over here um, I uh, it's just some um, some of my um, jewelry that I need to go and deliver to my friend to a gift shop um, tomorrow so um, it's packed and ready to be delivered um, and some oh it's difficult with one hand okay wait um oh, just some little necklaces that I made with a wooden disc So that needs to be delivered. So it's just sitting over there, ready for for that. Okay. Oh, I've got a new office chair. I am so chuffed. I was waiting for months and months to have this chair. I ordered it from the um, suppliers, and they didn't didn't get it in stock because of the um, all the importers troubles we're having with this virus. Um, um, with the pandemic um, nothing coming in and out of the country and so on but it finally arrived and we picked it up over the weekend and now it's sitting here in my office I'm so happy with it it's nice and soft and um, perfect size for under the table for me to draw and I can get right in to the desk to to be able to get nearer to the artwork that I'm doing so yeah very happy with my chair this one I've had ever since I was very very small it's been with me forever so yeah it's now sitting there it's just holding some of my older artwork that I store flat and um, some other big boxes of um, pencils drawing pencils that I cannot fit into drawers I will show you quickly um, over there this little corner is where um, you've seen my my studio cat sleep <laughs> on when I'm busy working here so yeah that's his little little space over there um, right here by the window okay moving on oh you've seen the paper at the bottom there that's the only thing that I still need to do for the studio is my husband um, will be uh, building me a, a box um, that will be sitting over here in this corner um, with all the you'll see all my canvases and everything is just packed here but um, he's going to make me a box that um, will be sitting on wheels and I'll just put all my paper um, papers you'll see over here I also have some papers that I can't store right now and there some paper um, and that will all go into the into the wooden crate um, as soon as it's um, finished okay so moving on we have my little cupboard over here I'll just go little bit by little bit some random stuff over there 
Pinocchio and some art books and just some filing admin <laughs> some more art books and decorations very boring these are all my um, fixatives for my um, pastel charcoal and graphite works okay but moving on to this cupboard it's just it just holds some random photo albums some old things up there some random boxes nothing interesting <laughs> just nice to have doors to keep stuff like that out of eyesight so yeah nobody wants to see that uh, what else do we have it's just some nice to look at decorations some shells um, that I've been collecting over the years and just keep in here and my acrylic paints over there some of them <laughs> and what else do we have here some other art stuff empty jars for when I do um, use water and other random things there as well some of my um, what's this my gouache paint watercolors and some oil and a little box of watercolors oh when we when I painted this room white I didn't take off the shelf so you'll still see some of that horrible green <laughs> yeah yes um, anyway I have some hanging shelves at the bottom of this cupboard for my palettes over here are some old boxes um, that are actually inherited and these ones have this one have pastel has some um, have some pastel pencils in it, charcoal and some more charcoal. Um, I'm not gonna open them. It's, it's difficult with just one hand. <laughs> okay, and some these are all my salad tapes and some um, books on birds. Yeah, I'm a bird lover. If you haven't noticed yet, this, this um, little shelf thing in my husband made actually, and I just like the just looks so cozy old school like that um, this thing just stores my business cards and you'll just see random ornaments all over my my studio I don't like to um, I like to keep all my things in one place that has sentiment and all of that oh this my husband gave me for Christmas these are salted caramel um, cashews I'm absolutely addicted to this stuff so yeah that was a nice present um, okay what else some just yeah just some more random things um, oh yes some I might I pre-made some um, jewelry for Valentine's coming up next month so yeah they'll also be um, going to my friends gift shop and here we have just have some um, containers with um, what do we have here um, some blenders all sorts of pencils and erasers and things okay if you've watched my previous video I will link it in the uh, in the description box below you you'll remember these drawers they keep all my um, all my pencils and things like that they keep tidy I'll try and film it for you um, yeah I just keep all my I think this is the watercolor drawer and I think this as well yeah and my color wheel and everything so yeah um, but basically it just it, these drawers are were thrown out um, of an office and um, I just grabbed them and um, saw some potential in them <laughs> and um, I use it for storing um, all sorts of art supplies yeah okay so I've put them down this side because if you watch the previous video you remember I had um, a rickety old um, wooden shelf that just stood on the floor and now I have these beautiful shelves with the I love these baskets <laughs> they look so pretty um, yeah so this is what I have now these drawers, um, they just keep all my all my art supplies, um, or t at least like that drawer. I just put all my tech stuff in, some some wires and whatnot. 
Um, oh, here's my, here's my box of ink pens. It's too large to go anywhere and I refuse to take them out of the box. So they just sit over there. This is my, just a, my um, little pencil case that I use every day and some tapes that I use. This is actually some packing material for packing my the jewelry that I make. It's just that. And what else? Um, oh yeah, I'll I'll just quickly show you. It's just some all some random stuff that I keep in the drawers just to hide them. Everything in a, in its place. Okay, so yeah, over there is just my guillotine and my cutting mat and all sorts of things. Oh, and the tiniest little sewing machine. <laughs> I sometimes use it for um, for some of the jewelry things that I make. So, and it's nice to just be able to sew something instead of sitting there um, trying to do it by hand. Okay, what else? Um, oh, the little basin. I always try and hide this basin when I when I shoot my videos. Um, so you don't see it, it's not the prettiest spot, but um, it's handy and yeah, we all need a place to clean stuff, so um, sometimes it does get a little bit messy. And some more packing, packing material over there. Oh, um, over here um, are just some finished artwork, I, I just actually painted this one yesterday. Um, it's a watercolor one that I made for my mom-in-law of her little kitty cat that passed away about two three years ago so I'm just going to have it framed and I'll give it to her soon and that one's wrapped in some um, plastic so it doesn't get um, smudged or anything it's a white charcoal on black paper one that I made the, oh wait there um, maybe you can see it now um, but yes, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see it over there. Fun piece to do. I loved doing that drawing. It's the first time I've done a horse. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, what else do we have over here? Not much more. Um, oh, maybe you've seen this in my previous this, um, video. That one, my one of my art students made for me with, um, what do you call it? Uh, oil pastels. I love that. And I had to put it up there. Uh, she also painted that one for me. And that one. That one I bought off her. <laughs> that cute. Um, some more random teddy bears. This one I bought in Germany. My favorite little munchkin thingy. Okay. So over here, I just have a little suitcase with some, um, some of my old or filled up um, sketchbooks and so on and some are not filled yet so we'll just um, yeah we'll just fill them in time <laughs> so yeah that's what's sitting over there and some more paper and stuff oh and over here I, I'm not sure I showed you over there are just some of my all the craft craft supplies all, all the things that I use for making my jewelry over there together in one space so yeah just a tiny little space it's not big <laughs> but it does what it has to do um, yeah I have everything I need uh, in here I spend hours and hours in here so um, yeah it's just my little happy place and yeah I hope you enjoyed the tour Leave a comment down below if you um, if you enjoyed it, and also um, feel free to share your own um, art space art spaces with me. I'd love to see where you create and where um, where you do all your creative stuff and your drawing or painting and all of that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you next time.